Okay, let's walk through the lesson of marking the corners on the array. You've already made your vertical and horizontal marks. The whole purpose of what we're going to do now is to center the array. You found the rafters, but what we have to do is figure out exactly where to place the array, left-hand and right-hand corners, so it fits evenly on top of these rafters, and that's what we're going to do now. So the layout drawing and the specs of the, the system shows that the uh, length of the array itself is 26 feet 5 inches. In order to show this step best, I'm going to actually put the uh, procedure guide up at the top instead of at the bottom. So now it's up at the top so I can see the whole array here. The idea is that I want to extend the tape measure that distance, 26 feet 5 inches. So I'm going to extend it from here. I'm going to pull it over and extend it to the target, which is 26 feet 5 inches, and let it go. And I've made the marking for the width of the actual array itself. Now I'm going to center a tape uh, across this so I get even amounts on both sides to actually center that measure of 26.5 on my rafters. Once again, I'm going to move my, my uh, procedure guide up out of the way. I'm going to click on the center here and you can see as I drag it on either side, the numbers on either side show the overshoot on either side. I'm going to drag it until it's roughly about the same and let go. And that centers that tape measure. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Now at the right hand side I click to mark that location. So that gives me the right hand mark of my array. And over here on the left I click on that. That gives me the left hand uh, edge of my array. I'm going to do the same thing down below here. So I'm going to click on my procedure guide, put it up at top up here. Um, and once again I'm going to be able to slide my tape back and forth and you can see the idea is that you'd actually have the tape on the roof measured out to 26 feet 5 inches and you'd slide it back and forth until the measure on each side is roughly about the same and then you'd let go and you've centered that tape uh, on the over the rafters. Now you mark the corner of what you just measured and the next step you'd mark the corner of what you just measured. And now you get to bring out your line snapping tool, your chalk line. So that comes right out and the idea is that you bring it to your target. You basically want to center it over the um, marking that you've already made and you click it and make your snap line. And I'm going to click over here to put it away. So the idea is that you found your rafter lines here but what you've done now is to find the edge of your glass. This is the left hand side of the edge of the glass on this side and you've made that mark. Same thing over here. You bring out your snapping tool, snap on the target, and you create that. I'm going to click on the tool to put it away. And there again, this is your right hand rafter, but this is the right hand edge of your glass that you've uh, marked on the roof. And then the idea here is that you want to designate the locations of your mounts. Uh, you made your first horizontal line, which was 12 inches down, which shows where you want those uh, mounts to go and then you found the rafters and that gives you the vertical locations where those mounts go. So you click on them. Um, it doesn't really matter the order. You can, um, you can move it around a bit here and you can basically click on all of those locations to properly mark the intersections and that's where your mounts are going to go in the subsequent steps. And then we for you, <laughs> you're welcome, have marked out all the other uh, 15, so now you have 20 of your uh, mount marks already done for you. If you click Next, it says Congratulations. You've now centered the array and you've made the markings of your mounts. Hey, thanks for watching the training video using Interplay's simulation based training program. You can keep watching our solar videos by clicking on the link to your left or stay up to date on our latest solar snacks by subscribing on your right. To learn more about how the STP provides critical team training and helps you build an onboarding program at your company, please go to interplaylearning.com.